All you need is just three ingredients to enjoy this beautiful and delicious homemade yogurt using powdered milk. Don't worry, this recipe is step by step. And trust me, you are going to be making yours just like this. Stay tuned. hi guys how was it going it's your girl claudia and welcome back to my kitchen on today's episode i will be showing you how to make only three ingredients homemade yogurt here is going to be like the cameroonian kosam style yogurt using powdered milk if you're new here a very big welcome to you to, on this channel you're going to meet easy quick recipes and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all the support i'm taking you back home or if you're back home already this is a recipe you would definitely need because growing up in cameroon we enjoyed this type of yogurt so for the ingredients we'll be needed one cup of powdered milk i'm using pig milk here if you have needle needle works perfect because i've tried it with this recipe and it was just just okay you can use another powder milk any store board so the rest we need three cups of water that's cold water or room temperature and the next we need half cup of yogurt with active culture to know that it has active culture you have to read the information in the back that's a list of ingredients so add the powder milk inside a pot then add some of the cold water just to mix it so it is uniform what i do is i always like put a little bit of water with the milk to mix it until it's uniform before i pour in the rest of the water this is just to avoid the milk from forming lumps and also i use a whisk to ease the work for me so when everything has been dissolved here i will just bring in the rest of that cold water Everything has been perfectly mixed. The next thing we're going to do is to put it on the fire. Set it on the fire on medium heat. As soon as you start seeing the first bubbles, when the first bubbles start forming, take it out from the fire and keep stirring, stirring and stirring from time to time so that it cools off. At this point, do not add the yogurt because it's very, very hot. So keep stirring and stirring and stirring until the temperature of the milk is warm to touch like i said warm to touch no need for me stressing you and saying oh it is how many degrees that degrees no So right now it's warm to touch. I'm going to put in my yogurt. My yogurt is a little bit yellow in color because I'm using the mango flavor. For yogurt, you can use any flavor of your choice. Or if you're using just normal yogurt, you can then add any maybe vanilla extract or any extract you like. So just mix until it is perfectly dissolved. So that's not half cup, but this recipe calls for half cup. So I'm going to put the rest of the yogurt. This one is grape. Like I just like a mixture of flavors for my yogurt. You can use any yogurt flavor, like I said. So I'm just going to mix. It is perfectly combined right now. I'll just transfer into a airtight container. Close it. You close it wrap it with some cloth or if you have a blanket you can wrap it and keep it somewhere undisturbed let it rest in a warm area for like 8 to 12 hours and after 8 to 12 hours this is how it's going to be looking like like making yogurt is so so easy Look at how that set perfectly. It's looking so good. So I'm just going to mix and combine everything. Like I just wanted to have a uniform texture or consistency. Yeah. 
So guys, look at the texture of this yogurt. This is the same kosam kind of yogurt we usually enjoy in Cameroon. I'm going to be freezing some in a Ziploc bag. I'm just going to tear it on one side, then put my yogurt inside to freeze it. If you are from Cameroon, you're going to understand this part. <laughs> oh my goodness. This makes me feel at home, guys. So I'm just going to tie it properly so that some of that yogurt doesn't come out from there. While this one will be going to my refrigerator, I will be using it for breakfast or to eat some biscuits with it. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching to this point. And so we'll meet again in my next video. Bye for now and stay safe. Don't forget to like, share also.